Season's greetings to the people of Ancillary Canneries and to the people of St. Lucia. I first would like to thank you for giving me the privilege to represent you in the House of Assembly. I must tell you that I continue to accept this role with humility, honor, and perseverance. In the last six months, we have traveled a very difficult road. It's been a journey where we lost many of our neighbors, friends, and loved ones due to illness and even the wave of violent crime which continues to grip our country. To their families, we mourn with you this Christmas and wish you all of God's peace through this rather difficult time. As if this wasn't enough, our farmers suffered tremendous devastation in the recent passage of Hurricane Matthew. All of this compounds the chronic and lingering challenges we face challenges of underinvestment in our infrastructure, in our people, and in our dreams and aspirations. Scripture tells us, though, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. We must therefore take comfort in the extraordinary promise that we possess in our environmental and human capacity as building blocks for development. Our collective resolve is the bedrock to overcoming these obstacles. I am encouraged that in the coming year, we are likely to see new investments from the private sector in factory plants and added attention to our roads and other infrastructures. The year 2017 will also see the reopening of our playing fields currently under renovation and the commencement of repairs to others. In the coming year, we must also spare no effort to leverage the strengths of our constituency to optimize the potential for job creation, human resource development, and community empowerment. This should be our credo for the new year. But for now, I take this opportunity to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2017. God bless you all.